Hello Windows Universe, in this video we will talk about if Windows 10 won't go to sleep, the legacy kernel caller. For a more in-depth look at the topic, we will link an article in the description down below. If sleep mode is not working, run the power troubleshooter. To do this, type troubleshooter, go to additional troubleshooters, in the task search, then select power troubleshooter. Click on Run the Troubleshooter, follow any on-screen prompts, and then restart your system when that's finished. Now, some websites have suggested to change or reset the power configuration. Instead, let's open a command prompt as an administrator, and then type in power cfg space hyphen request and hit enter. This command finds out requests from drivers and applications which prevent the computer from going to sleep or turning off the display. If in any of these you were to get the legacy kernel is off, this command prompt finds out requests from drivers and applications which prevent the computer from going to sleep or turning off the display. If for whatever reason you were to get driver, legacy kernel, caller, our next step would be to remove such external hardware one by one from the computer. Now we've had a lot of users reporting that the TV card is usually a culprit. Just remove the hardware causing the problem. Once removed, run the command again. there should be no legacy kernel caller listed. If you cannot or do not want to remove the offending hardware, the power config command offers a request override option. It allows users to disable requests from applications and services to wake the computer from sleep. Open the command prompt as an administrator, type in power cfg space hyphen requests override all one word space driver open quote legacy kernel caller close quote space system hit enter and you're all set to go here is one last suggestion if not seeing any legacy kernel caller in the result in the command prompt type in power cfg space hyphen device Curie space wake underscore armed. It will list down all of the devices that can wake the system. If there is anything other than keyboard, mouse, or touch, check the power configuration of that device. To do this, go to the device manager, look for the item, right click on it to go into properties. Under power management, Disable the option in its properties which says allow this device to wake the computer. Click OK and restart your system. For more helpful tips to maximize your window experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.